Central Hardin High School student Sophia Stover is preparing for typical senior activities, prom, senior trip, graduation, and the 17-year-old is also finding time to make sure Hardin County residents get out and vote this November. Just seeing how much I can impact a community without even being able to vote yet. Stover is an ambassador for the first ever co-ops vote project in Hardin County. The statewide effort launched in 2016 through the Kentucky Electric Cooperative aims to increase voter turnout in rural areas. Statewide uh, in this last primary turnout was below 15 percent. Here in Hardin County we were 11 and a half percent. I think we can do better. Hardin County is the home of Fort Knox. In Stover's new leadership role, she has shadowed Hardin County Clerk Brian Smith during the most recent primary election. She is also organizing voter registration drives. She's traveled to Frankfurt, met lawmakers and Governor Andy Bashir, and learned the ins and outs of Kentucky government. And Stover continued her civic engagement efforts on the East Coast. She was one of more than 60 students Students who travel to Washington, D.C. to take their state mission to a national level. The students that we're taking are all rising seniors, so they're all 17 years old. They're going to be turning 18 um, within the next year, and th they're going to have the, the voice to vote. Um, so we want to be able to encourage them. Leading by example, Stover's is proving that there's no age limit when it comes to evoking change in your community. People who can vote, like you, you have the power to make change, and I think that's a wonderful thing. From Hardin County, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.